Clear skies can do nothing to hide the brilliance of lightning. Divine bolts can strike even in the absence of rain. Do you see that tree? Wait, you understand? So... Demonstration is not required. Good. Shine down! I see. Yeah, this will make a wonderful gift. Yai Publishing House released several new novels recently. Shigeru told me that a good number of them are children's fairy tales. Perfect for reading aloud to kids. Oh, and Guru Mio has just received a new batch of silk. She might have come up with some new kimono designs. But do you still remember what size your sister wears? The kimono might look a little off if you get the size wrong. Uh, let me think for a second. I've bought clothes for her plenty of times before. That's it. I believe it's... Ah, hold on. She's having her growth spurt at the moment. She probably doesn't fit into anything I've bought her in the past anymore. It's okay if you don't know her exact size. You can always just buy her a few bolts of silk instead. Who knows? Maybe she'd like that even better. Oh, and why don't you take some fireworks with you as well? 
I just finished creating a new design that's both pretty and relatively quiet. I'm sure your siblings are gonna love it. Hmm, what else should you get them? Uh, let me think. Ah, it's you. Yomiya was just recommending some Inazuman specialties for me to bring back as souvenirs. If it weren't for her, I wouldn't have the slightest idea what to buy. <laughs> Talk about a coincidence. I happened to be passing through Inazuma while taking care of some... work. I wanted to grab some presents for my younger siblings while I was here, but I couldn't decide on what to buy. Tusser once told me that he wanted to hold an Onikabuto, so I decided to go catch one of those little bugs first. As I was looking for Onikabuto in the forest, I saw a child playing all on his own, and he was headed straight for a camp of monsters. So I stopped the child, dealt with the monsters, and then he led me back to Yoimiya. After that, well, I was designated as the Anti-Mujina Specialist. It's a shame the kid's parents came and took everyone back home, saying that they'd had enough adventures outside. <sighs> Our hunt for the yokai came to an abrupt end. The ship I'll be leaving on will arrive in Inazuma in just a few days. Then it'll be my turn to go back home. Oh, by the way, Yoimiya, can you recommend a few local beverages as well? Local beverages, uh, but you're going to be on a ship for quite some time, right? Beverages spoil easily. Uh, how about bringing some snacks with a longer shelf life? Something like Tricolor Dongo or Sakura Mochi, for example. Saika loves Tricolor Dongo, but the adults in her family always scold her for eating too many and spoiling her appetite. Tusu used to be like that, too. After having too many snacks, he'd refuse to eat his meals and end up getting yelled at by father. Anyways, thanks, Yomiya. I gotta make sure I have enough mora for all this. Two kimonos, three bolts of silk, one novel, five boxes of snacks. Oh, and the Onikabuto as well. You really care a lot about your family, Tartaglia. Oh, you mean with Tartaglia? Nah, everything's fine. He took great care of the kids and even promised Iwao he'd teach him a few moves with the sword. Though, I have to say, it's amazing you have so many friends from all over the world. You're so lucky. I'd travel all across the world too if I had the chance. I want to see all that there is to see and make friends with all kinds of people. I would even go on adventures with them, just like you do. But for now, I have to stay home with my pops. So, I won't be traveling far anytime soon. Don't keep it a secret next time you come to Inazuma, okay? Just be sure to visit Naganahara Fireworks first, and tell me all about the amazing things you've seen on your journey.
Bombs, so heavy. Bombs, so heavy. A 
どこどどこIt's so nice to de-stress. Thank <laughs> you. 